Hi guys, uh, a bit of bad news, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to run the Great North Run this Sunday after months of preparation. I started to get emails from uh, the NSPCC saying, have you received your race pack yet if you haven't contacted the Great Run team? So I contacted them and they said, we'd have no record of you registering in any place whatsoever. So then I started contacting the NSPCC and I started making phone calls and it transpires that when I uh, registered and applied, I ticked a box saying, and I, when I did it, I was tired because I'd been out running. <laughs> and uh, I ticked a box basically saying that um, I'd secured my own place. I didn't wish the NSPCC to secure a place for me, which then made that nobody secured any place for me which means I don't have a run number which means I'm not allowed to run so I even phoned and spoke to the um, NSPCC who said that they couldn't do anything then I phoned and I spoke to uh, the uh, great run people organization I spoke to a woman called Judith who ended up laughing at me and I said excuse me can you stop laughing at me this isn't funny and then she says can you stop being abusive <laughs> And I was like, I'm not being abusive. And then she said, can you stop shouting? And I said, I'm not shouting. Can you stop laughing at me? And then anyway, it just got worse. In the, end, in the end, she said, I'm not taking any of this. And I said, I'm not taking any of what? So I phoned back and spoke to the secretary. And I said, I do not want to speak to Judith, Judith again because she's going to accuse me of being abusive. So I spoke to Judith again. And then I said, can I speak to your manager? I said, by the way, I recorded that call. So you can't lie. And I spoke to one of the directors of the Great Run, a bloke called Nigel. I said, look, can you please do something? I've, prep I've made preparations and organised um, bus tickets and coach tickets. And people have bought me pairs of trainers to do this. And sponsors, not to mention the sponsors, people have donated money. That's all going to now have to be refunded. If you don't let me do this, this money is not going to go to the charity, which is NSPCC. And you know what that charity does? And he was like, no, I can't do anything. And I could tell by the tone of his voice he could. He just wasn't going to do it. And I pulled him up on it. And then I just called him disgusting. I said, I'm disgusted in you because you are disgusting me. And that's disgusting. I didn't swear. I didn't get angry. didn't get abusive. I didn't shout. Um, and then I phoned back and I made, his <laughs> I made his secretary take a message. And I said... Can you please write this down? And I said, I said exactly who I was and why I was calling. And I said, could you tell Nigel that I think he's a putrid dollop of excrement? Which I thought was rather polite considering the situation. So there's nothing I can do. I even said to Nigel, one of the directors of the Great Run, well, can I not just run it anyway? And he says, no, not without a number. And if you're seen to be running, you will be forcibly removed and you may be arrested. So I just can't do it. I can't do it after all of these months and all of this preparation. There's no way the NSPCC won't do anything or can't do anything. The great run director, Nigel, and his sidekick who thinks it's funny, Judith, won't or can't do anything. Uh, nobody can do anything, so I can't run it. But the flip side is um, I can already run 14 miles. I know that for a fact. I'm just going to train and prepare for a full marathon this time. Um... The most annoying and upsetting thing is the donation money that is not going to get to. It's all going to be refunded to the donators. So if you've made a donation with a credit card or a debit card or PayPal, um, it'll all just be refunded back to your card or payment method. And it will not go to the charity, unfortunately. And there's nothing I can do about that. And I'm sorry. So, uh, you know... My advice to somebody in the future would be to double and treble check that you've got a place and yeah, don't fill out web forms when you're tired and don't put trust into charities that um, are going to organise anything for you. It's up to you to do it. So ultimately, I suppose you could say it's my fault, um, but I was very tired and I was running a lot and I still am running a lot when I filled out the web form. Anyway, cut a long story short, I can't do the Great North Run this year. Um, but there's plenty of other marathons and half marathons and events for charity that I can do and that I'm already ready for. I even said to Nigel, you know, 
the last time I run a half marathon in preparation, I did it in the dark, up, up a hill, in the rain, in the cold, towards oncoming traffic. And he didn't give a monkey's uncle. Anyway, so if you've made a donation, thank you. But sorry, it's going to get refunded. Um, and I can't do it. I've already done it twice. So in spring, hopefully, I will be running my full uh, marathon, which is... 26.2 miles um, and I'll try and do it for charity as well uh, so yeah thanks for listening and uh, I'm really tired because I've already walked about 10 miles today and run 6 miles and I've got more exercises to do so yeah take care and you will get your donation refunded and I'm sorry I'm not doing it and I'm ultimately absolutely gutted, as you can imagine. And Nigel, you're a complete and utter plonker that doesn't help people. And Judith, um, you shouldn't laugh at people. And the NSPCC, I wish you'd done more to help me and check that I did have a, um, a place. And it's unfortunate now that you're not going to get hundreds of pounds of donation money that could have been put to use to help to this, what you stop happening. And everybody else, uh, yeah, it's just a shame. But this is life, isn't it? Uh, onwards and upwards. Peace and respect and a very happy autumn.